All right, guys, so working on the final touches of the couple's camper, and what I need to do next is I need to have a switch, and I want to make that switch box right here. And what I've been doing in the past is I've been plugging and unplugging my solar panels from using it as a battery tender for my car battery and swapping it back and forth between, you know, the, the battery of the, the power that runs the microwave and all that stuff. So I don't drive this van that often, so I do need a battery tender. It will run out of batteries in, let's say, you know, two weeks or something. It's going to get a little weak. So I do want to use the solar panels for that, but I've been just manually plugging and unplugging. So I need a switch that will toggle between those two things and not just that I want to switch that toggles between um, charging so I want to when I'm driving I want to be able to charge with my alternator and not to my solar panels because the alternator will charge a little bit faster so I'm going to develop a switch for that and I'll show you guys how to do it because you can't just connect your alternator to your power battery that's that's not going to be it'll work but it's not the optimal solution so we'll talk a little bit about that so first we're gonna look at the switch and i had this 3d box printed and if you have a 3d printer you know you could make a box like this uh I, I don't know how to write these files i had a friend at work write the file for me i have a 3d printer so this is actually going to work perfect because i made it to fit right there um, if you want the 3D file for this and you have a printer, let me know. I'll send you the file. All right, so here's for the details. This is the way I'm going to hook up my switch box. I'm going to have my solar panel that's going to go to a charge controller. And that charge controller will either be connected to this 12-volt battery of my car or it's not. It's either open from that or it's connected there. Um, that battery is either going to connect to the charge controller or to another switch. And that other switch is going to go between the solar panel and the charge controller to the lithium ion phosphate battery. So for instance, if this is in the on position, it's going to be charging my lithium ion position uh, battery. Uh, it may even be charging my 12 volt car battery at the same time. Uh, with two separate isolated controllers. That scenario is okay. So um, in the scenario where this is switched off, it, uh, the charge controller is never connected to the lithium battery. Uh, it could either be in the off position or on this switch. This switch position is either on off or it's on this charge controller or it goes straight to the 12-volt the car battery. And so in this scenario, the 12 volt car battery is going to my charge controller, which is going to charge my lithium iron phosphate battery. So I, I never get a scenario where the two batteries are connected in parallel, which is okay, it's not devastating, but unless your two batteries are exactly the same, you actually don't wanna do that. Even if they're both 12 volts, they, they have to be matched perfectly for that to work well. Um, you don't, there's an alternator on this car battery, but I don't want to go straight alternator to the lithium ion phosphate battery either because this is a, a high current type uh, alternator and you, you don't want that spike for this type of lithium battery. It's okay for the lead acid batteries, but it's not too good for the lithium. It works, but it's not okay. So I want that to go through the charge controller to regulate the voltage and the current to charge it so I won't damage this battery. So in any of uh, those scenarios, the battery won't be damaged. And here, for my refrigerator, I'm gonna have another switch that's an offshoot of the car, 12 volt car battery, which is the access accessory. So it's only live when you, know, you have your keys turned. Otherwise, it's not live ever, so that it, I don't accidentally leave my refrigerator on forever using the car battery and drain that battery. Or I could switch it to the 12 volt lithium battery. All right, so that's the idea. Let's do it. All right, so I got all the wires dangling out still, but uh, so I have the second charge controller. So when uh, I wanna charge the car battery, this one is isolated from this charge controller, which charges this lithium battery. And uh, you guys already saw the schematic and here's the switch. So what I made was, um, this is for the refrigerator. It's either in the off position lithium battery position you heard it just switch on and for the ex car accessories position which won't turn on because the engine's not on for the car battery i have a solar charger and i put it this led for the solar charger mode so when it's in this mode this light flashes so i know 
uh, it's charging and I need to turn it off before I turn on my engine because uh, putting uh, a lot of current through that charge controller is not a good thing. It might last one or two times, but if you keep doing it, uh, the controller will surely fail. Anyways, so I, it's either that solar charge controller position, off position, or in this alternator position. So when it's in the alternator position, I can switch this to the alternator position, and this will be charging the lithium ion. Otherwise, it's either in the off position, or the solar is charging the lithium. So those are my three things, my three switches that I added. So let's turn that off, put it on solar charger, and I'm good to go. So now I gotta clean up all this wire. All right, I cleaned everything up and you can see right now, it's on solar charging the car battery and it's also solar charging the lithium ion phosphate battery. And again, that LED tells me that I'm on solar charging. So if I wanna turn on my engine, I should turn that off first. But now I'm just gonna leave it on for now. Let's take a look at the wiring. It's nice and clean now. Come back here. A lot of the stuff is underneath the chair where you can't see it. And here's my solar charger controller for the lithium battery. The controller for the, the car battery is underneath there. I just didn't want to load up this area because that one's less important for me to monitor. So here's my alternator. There, that wire goes back to the refrigerator and that powers my refrigerator because I have it going through that switch. This switch right here that lets me power it on through the accessories of the car or through the lithium and you just heard it beep. That's because the lithium is live. So the refrigerator is on. So that's it, all done, it's Miller time.